So as you can see, I got some pre-cut lumber here that I'm gonna use to turn into a chicken tractor, okay? Um, right now I'm gonna use it to put the little chicks I got in, you know, until they get old enough to go in the big one, but right now that's what I'm gonna make it for, and later I plan on getting some meat chickens and putting them in it as a chicken tractor. And I'll take you guys along for this, this so you guys got any ideas if you wanna do it like that or however you wanna do it, so. Okay, I'm gonna nail these together now. Okay, so I got the frame nailed together there, as you can see. Later, I'm also gonna put screws because I'm gonna be dragging it around. And if any of you guys are curious on the dimensions, I went 16 foot long by six foot three wide. So there's the frame. That gives you the frame there. So, I put one in the middle, one in the ends. So yeah, that's what we got so far. So I'll keep you guys along as I add to it. Hi, chick chicks. What are you doing on the other side of the fence? Get over here before I throw you in the coop. Okay, oh, we got a runner. Okay, I'm getting distracted, guys. Okay, back to the, oh, back to the project update. Okay, I got some more boards pre-cut. That long one's 16 foot. It's gonna be my top beam. And these short ones are cut with a 45 degree angle on it, on both ends. As you see here, 45 degree angle, whap, whap. And you're gonna see how that all fits together. I'm gonna use that to attach that beam for the, the top. So, let me do that and I'll get back to you guys. Alrighty. 30 minutes later, see what I got? I put the 45s down there and 45s up there, screwed that in, and I got my frame built. Now I just gotta add my siding and that, and then a door there, and we'll have her. Can you see it? Can you vision it? You gotta be able to see it now. I'm sure before you were like, what is he doing? But now I got it to where you can see the frame. And uh, this say I don't have no blueprints or nothing. I've kind of seen a few video ideas a while ago and I'm just kind of going off my head, kind of plan this out. Hey, watch out, Goofy. Goofy, come here. Goofy, come on, Bill. Get out of here, You're messing up the video. Messing up the video. Okay, so let me walk inside. Goofy and her don't get along. So you see I got my 45 here. I got it screwed real good since I'm gonna be dragging it eventually. Screwed down there, screwed there. So I got three of those supporting the main beam. Same deal here. Gotta put another couple screws there. But I got this here, all done. I'm just gonna clean that up a little bit. No big deal. But yeah, so you see what's going on. I'm gonna put wire here on this backside, but I'm thinking uh, sheeting up here, especially since winter's coming, keep them out of the elements. But I do this kind of stuff for a living, messing with wood and construction, so for me it ain't no thing. But uh, I enjoy doing projects like this, and it's gonna have a place for my chickens, and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna put the meat chickens in this in the spring. So, there's my update. I'll let you guys know when I got more. I plan on finishing up pretty close tomorrow. Hi there, update. So as you can see, I put two more boards there and there there and there, so I guess a total of four to strengthen it. And now I'm gonna put on the siding that I got pre-cut here, which is some old roofing material that I cut to length already. And I'm now going to install that and I'll show you the results for that. 
It's coming together. Can you see it? It's been raining all day, but I'm still doing it. Working out in the rain so I can get it done for you guys. So thumbs up and subscribe for that. Okay, I'm gonna put on this, this metal, metal sheet in here. Okay, I got my siding up. As you can see, my walls are there. I did this last night, but it got too dark to uh, to record about it. There it is. It's like a triangle deal. I'm gonna put some um, later. I'll put some roofs in there for them. I still gotta put uh, the door here with some chicken wire. And you can see how this is kind of rough here. Let me show you little walk around see how here it's like not all the same length and the two by showing and it's longer there don't worry about that that will all get cleaned up that's the beauty of it you'll see it all get covered up here's the other side I need wire here so that's gonna be the inside the air is gonna go through here to there and I'm pretty close on it now I just gotta put that top piece and I'm done with the siding. And I have that right there. It's really windy today. That'll cover all that ugly up. But I think it's coming along pretty quick and I'll have this video up today for you guys. I won't be 100% done, but you'll, you'll get the big picture. It's really windy. Just remember after after it rains, it blows. Remember that. Okay, I'm gonna put that top piece on. Okay, got the main frame and the siding complete. See, I was telling you how it cleaned that up. She cleaned her up. You can't tell what I was showing you in the other one. Got my top piece on, completely waterproof. And man, I wouldn't mind living in, in there if I didn't have nowhere else to go, so. Keep them out of the elements. Give them a nice place. It'll, it'll be more light once I clear, get that board out of there and stuff like that. So now I just need to put my door in here, a little chicken entrance, and uh, I'm gonna get some nice wire for there and there so they got the airflow. And on that other side, and there she is. So make sure you subscribe and stay tuned to see the completion of this. I got most of it done here. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you need to build one yourself, I'm sure you can follow these steps. It really ain't that hard if you got a little building experience. For me, it was just a good time. And I plan on putting a good amount of meat chickens in it this coming spring. I'm gonna put those new baby chicks and the mom in here because they're getting too big for that rabbit hutch. So, so yeah. So there's, I got some plans for this, so stay tuned for that, and uh, I think it, I think it looks good. So, all right, let me know what you think in the comments. Get a little dog shot, Goofy. Oh, he's a good boy. Have a nice day. One more thing, I use these these screws here that are still waterproof. I wanted to show you guys that, I forgot. Here they are. I don't know if you can see that, where is it? There you go. It's a little screw. It's got a little, little washer on it. There it is, a little washer so it stays waterproof. Right there you can see it. So ain't no water getting in there for my babies. Okay, I want to throw that in there. Hey guys, this is Drake with Drake's Homestead, and I'm coming at you with another video. We're gonna give this one a rooster update, since we got both the rooster, big dog right there, Woo, 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 woo. And a little dog. Can't even zoom in without them taking the bread from me. 
and little dog right over there. So today's Sunday. I'm gonna put this up Sunday. Just got done watching some football. <laughs>